Yo, what's up guys? In this tutorial, we'll be going over how to import the World of Fighters game and start editing it across multiple devices. So step one, launch the editor, hit the new game button, and just drag and drop that zip file in. It'll start importing the JavaScript files and all the assets if you don't have them already. And once it's done, that game is now yours. So I'm going to start modifying the name. I'm going to call it my fighting game because I'm trying to be really original here. And you can go ahead and modify other areas. Once you're happy, if you hit the publish button, that game will now be available inside the game launcher. And you can straight away jump in and start playing this game on PC and the mobile phones. And the really cool thing about it is it's multiplayer enabled from the start. You don't set up any servers or anything like that. So here I am playing it on an Android, iOS, Windows Phone, and a Tizen device. I'm in the editor. I'm going to click the visual editor button for the WF Start UI class. And there I am going to start modifying the images. I've made that bigger and would have met within a matter of seconds. It's now propagated on the devices. What's even cooler is I'm drag and dropping in a new image from my computer. It's going to upload it to the server and then straight away download it on the devices. Bam, in real time. Here I am in the editor, the map editor, and I can start moving objects around, making them bigger, changing their 3D models, making them into animations, and if I've got any OBJ or FBX files, I can also drag and drop that in. And as you can see, the changes that I'm making are instantly being propagated across these devices. The last thing I'm going to show you now is the source code editor. So I'm going into the scene game WF class. I'm just going to jump into the update scene function in which I've commented out a couple of lines of code that define the orientation of the camera. I'm going to uncomment it out now, hit save, and then straight away, bam, it's, that change is now synced across these devices. So you can make UI changes, map editor changes, and source code changes. More documentation will be coming soon, but feel free to mess around with it and let me know what you think. Thanks for your time, guys. Peace out.